Once you're happy about the setup, you can output the image in two ways. The first one is to let the real-time view render or res up until the quality looks good enough and then hit the screenshot button in the lower right corner of the user interface. How and where the file will get saved can be adjusted if you go to Edit, Preferences, General and Screenshot. I'll change the format to PNG, set the quality to 100, check that Keyshot needs to ask me where to save each screenshot and uncheck that Keyshot saves a camera with each screenshot. When I'm happy about the quality that I see in the real-time view, I hit the screenshot button. I'll create an output folder in my project folder and call this one side view screenshot. This is a quick way to save out a bunch of iterations. The downside of using the screenshot option is that the resolution is tied to the resolution of the real-time view. If you want anything bigger, um, if you're going to print it for example, you need to use the render dialog. To open that up, I hit the render button in the toolbar. In the output settings of the render dialog, you can give the output a name, let's call it side view render. Select where the rendering should be saved, and let's pick the same location as the screenshot. Change the format type, in this case I'll go with PNG, and adjust the resolution. I determined previously that I wanted this to fit an A4 landscape format, and I know that uh, the width of a landscape A4 is just under 30 centimeters. I type in 30 centimeters in the width and the height and the amount of pixels needed automatically adjust based on the aspect ratio I set in the image tab and on the DPI settings. By default it is set to 300, which is quite common for high quality prints. If you have the pro version of Keyshot, you also get the option to save out a wide range of different passes for high flexibility in post-processing if needed. In the Options tab, you can set the rendering method and quality. There are three different methods, max samples, maximum time, and custom control. The maximum samples option controls how many times the image will be calculated and refined. Each additional sample will further smooth out noise and grain in the image. This option uses the same rendering technique as you see when you're working in the real-time view. To get an idea of how many samples you need, go to the real-time view and show the heads-up display by hitting H on the keyboard, or go to view and select heads-up display. Here I can see for how long time the real-time view has been resting up, how many samples it has reached, and I can look at the quality in the real-time view to determine when I have enough samples. In this case, it looks like approximately 200 will do. However, as you increase the resolution of your image, each pixel covers relatively less area of the image, which means that you can use a lower sample settings when rendering at a higher resolution, as we do here, but to be sure the quality is good enough, I'll type in 200 anyways. The maximum time option works the same way as the maximum samples option. But instead of stopping at a fixed number of samples, it stops rendering at a fixed time limit. This means that we can set the maximum time to for example 5 minutes, and the rendering will get as good as it can in those 5 minutes. The custom control option allows control over all quality settings available in Keyshot. This mode typically produces smoother results in areas of high noise or shadow, and you can pinpoint specific issues like anti-aliasing or disable sharp shadows if you don't want that. However, for more advanced scenes, it's easy to set yourself up for long rendering times without getting a better quality. Furthermore, this method renders from the inside out in small areas, which means that it can't be stopped halfway, like the maximum samples and maximum time can, if you find it looks good enough. In this case, I'll stick with the maximum samples set at 200. With that, I hit render to activate the final rendering process. While it renders, you can keep track of the time elapsed and the amount of samples reached at the current time. As said before, if you find the quality for example looks good enough at 150 samples that we have reached now, you can save it by hitting the save image disk in the top of the rendering window. By doing so, it saves a version but keeps rendering. If you want to stop the rendering process at the same time, click the red X in the upper left corner and hit stop and save. For now, I want this to reach the 200 samples that I set and I let it finish. When the rendering is done, you can close the rendering window and go to the selected output folder to see the final results.
Here's the low res screenshot, and here's the midway maximum samples rendering, and here's the 200 samples output. And that's all. Happy rendering. For more Keyshot learning content, click on one of the playlists below. To make sure you don't miss out on any new content, subscribe to our channel by clicking the Keyshot icon in the center of the screen.